in another study that you did about the prevalence of rates of uh, antenatal depression in the Irish Obstetric Service, um, it's a very long titled survey, yeah. but you, you know the one that I, I mean. You found that one in six pregnant women were depressed, which seemed to be a higher rate than other countries in the OECD. Um, and it, the depression got worse as the pregnancy advanced mm. by trimester. Um, and the depression was higher among poorer women yeah. with less you know, support, issues of domestic violence and, and so on, and actually younger women as well. Mm -hmm. um, would that suggest to you that the stress of being pregnant is added to by the illegality of abortion in Ireland? Um, I, I, I can't say that because I didn't ask that question, but it is um, a sad fact that our rates of antenatal depression, that's the only study that's been ever done in, um, among pregnant Irish women, that they are higher. Um, than other European countries, or at least that's what our research has indicated. Um, but I think what you're asking, and this relates to your previous point you made about lower socioeconomic status and socioeconomic disadvantage. Rates of depression are higher, rates of unwanted pregnancy are higher um, in women who are soci socioeconomically um, disadvantaged. So I think you know, when we're looking at depression, when we're looking at abortion needs, we're talking about the most vulnerable people. When we're look, looking at people who can't travel, we're talking about the same group of marginalised, very vulnerable people. These are the people we're turning our backs on. I do think we're also treating um, women who have the means in a very shoddy and humiliating way. Um, but I think the, the women who uh, bear the brunt of the... Um, constitutional ban on abortion here are the very vulnerable women. Um, in relation to the study, um, it could be interpreted that the um, abortion regime in this country, the lack of abortion in the country, or the fact that our services are de facto in another jurisdiction, um, does re to lead to higher rates of unwanted pregnancies and therefore higher rates of depression. But it could also be um, that our, our perinatal psychiatry services are very underdeveloped and I know that um, uh, Dr Anthony McCarthy is coming here um, sometime in the near future to give evidence in relation to that um, because he works directly within, the, within that service so I leave that up to him but we are woefully and um, uh, under-resourced here. Colleagues from around the world are gobsmacked. Uh, when they came to the conference in March, colleagues from all over the world, they were absolutely amazed at our um, the, the lack of healthcare services for uh, perinatal in perinatal psychiatry in Ireland. I do think the issues are connected. I do think that, you know, maybe the whole mental health area is a no-go area because you know, we're, we're ignoring a very big problem. And I think once we embrace, once we allow ourselves to see that there is a need, um, embrace it, look for pragmatic solutions, I think a lot of other services will follow.